you guys remember a few months ago when I used my own money to buy Zaffle and then did a review video for you guys and I was like, wow, I really wish Zaffle could sponsor me. Mm -hmm. Well, guess what? Guess what? The man above is working overtime for your girl. What is up, A team? Welcome, welcome back to my channel. I am coming at you yet again with that top tier content. Today, I'm bringing you a clothing haul courtesy of Zaffo. Thank you so, so much to Zaffo for sponsoring this video, okay? I'm pretty sure we all know of or about Zaffo, but if you don't, Zaffo is a popular online store that sells affordable swimwear, accessories, and clothing. They're most popularly known for their swimwear, but then their clothes have also stepped up a bit over the months and the years, actually. So, in this haul, I'll be giving you guys all the departments they have to offer, okay? I'll be reviewing one item of mm, no. I'll be reviewing five items of clothing, one bikini, and two accessories. So let's get right into it. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, chat on the road to 11k or whatever. And let's get into it. So before we get into the clothing aspect of the video, I just want to cover all the shipping details and give you guys one quick tip on how to save your coin when you buy from Zaffle, okay? So, shipping took 19 days and that was just under three weeks. I think that's pretty quick during a panorama because one thing about SA Customs, one thing about Tata Customs, they're doing a lot right now. They're doing way too much. So, 19 days is pretty quick and Zaffle does keep you updated as to where your package is because one thing about me, child, when I order something online, I will go outside, take a cam chair and wait on my driveway because why is it not here in three hours? I know it's coming from China, but why is it not here in three hours? So, I really do like the fact that Zaffle does keep you updated as to where your package is and you can kind of estimate how long it'll take to get to you. The total for all of these items is 1,249 and in my humble opinion, baby, that is very very affordable also one thing about zaffle their clothes 98 percent of the time look exactly how they look like on the website because some companies be trying to scam okay some companies be like here's this beautiful dress and then next thing you get it and it's a curtain now it's a go your team and like so team so <laughs> you need to be very careful with fast fashion but one thing i can vouch for is that zaffle always delivers okay Always. And it really helps that on the website there is like a Zaffo community where people post the clothes that they've um, gotten. It's not like just reviews. So I really like seeing the outfit on other people before I buy it because sometimes I'm like, I don't be trusting you. Like, you look like you could be a curtain. You look like you could be a parachute. Secondly, let's get into how you can save your money while buying on Zaffo. I am your favorite YouTuber for a reason, okay? I don't care if I'm not your favorite YouTuber. I'm claiming that title. I'm your favorite YouTuber. I'm coming at you guys with the coupon code. It will be in my description box below as well as on screen right now. Go ahead and save some money on your order. Along with the coupon code, there is a concept called Z points. I guess Z points since we're in South Africa. But anyway, Z points are points that you get by logging onto the website, by posting reviews on clothes you've already bought, by breathing. You get Z points by doing literally anything. And with Z points, you can also get money taken off of your order the z points you have don't necessarily translate to how much money you'll get taken off so for instance if you have 100 z points it doesn't mean you'll get 100 run off the z points have their own conversion going on there but you will get money off nonetheless i think for this order i used 600 of my z points and that was like 170 and some change so 170 is a lot of money to me personally that's my vape flavor for like two weeks, I almost said a month, but I'm actually lying. So saving that 150 or whatever it is does make a difference because I don't know about you guys, but I've got things to do with my money, okay? So the first item in this haul is this layered necklace. And one thing about necklaces, child, they take you from a good seven out of 10 to a 15 out of 10. They just add that thing to your outfit, you know what I mean? Okay, I finally opened the package of the a million years. But anyways, um, the necklaces are so protected because this, packet is like damage proof and also it's in another packet inside so it's like a packet inside a packet because you want to make sure your order is protected okay so this is what the layered necklace looks like there are three pieces and i chose it in the color gold because i like my jewelry to be gold i used to be a silver girl but then i'm just like no as you can see most of my jewelry is gold and i love to see it i love to see it anyways i really like oh i just dropped one I really like how thick 
these pieces are they look exactly like the picture they'll probably look even better on me not to toot my own horn anything but yeah this looks exactly like the picture can't wait to wear it and best of all can't wait to wear it in my actual outfits you know wearing jewelry just makes you look like that girl it makes you look like your life is together and i just love that because my life definitely is not together so having that image i like that i like that a lot <laughs> I will let you guys know how this jewelry fares over time. Some jewelry ends up going green, some ends up causing a rash on your skin. So I will update you guys to whether I got a rash or it went green or but not. But from the looks of it, it's gonna hold it down. It is most stiff gonna hold it down and i have ordered rings from zaffo i think on two occasions and they haven't rusted or gone green or caused any weird complications on my skin so i'm giving them a green light but i'll tell you guys what happens in a few months from now the next thing in this haul is this cow print mini bag and i must say i'm not a fan of mini bags because you can't fit anything inside like you can fit nothing besides like three five round coins but some things are just exceptions some things are just you know i loved this the moment i set my eyes on this bag actually came with the chain inside and not attached to it so if you want you could rock the bag just holding it like that which is weird or you could be a normal person and attach the chains like i have and just rock it like that in corner of the day you know what i mean if you did watch my last vlog i'll link it up here because it was my 10k celebratory vlog i was rocking this bag and i enjoyed every single minute of it surprisingly this bag did fit a lot my power bank was in here my vape my card my airpod case everything was in here and it didn't look bulky like it wasn't giving me you know, it was, <laughs> I don't know if you guys got what I meant, but it wasn't giving me like, this bag is full and packet vibes, which I really appreciated. And one thing I like about this bag in terms of its material is that it's hot. It's not, it's, it's going to go through a lot with you, okay? You can drop it on the floor, you can, people can accidentally step on it and this bag will be fine, okay? It will be absolutely a-okay. Let me just show you guys how small it is inside. I mean, it's not that small, but it's quite small. But I'm assuming you know how small the bag is when you buy it because you know it's a mini bag. You know what I mean? Mind blown. Since I have used the bag already on one occasion, I can safely say that I have no complaints about it at all. I'm very happy with the material. I'm very happy with how it looks exactly like the picture. I keep saying that because it's like people will play you. People will show you a picture of something and it looks nothing like the photo. So I really appreciate the fact that this bag is not a catfish. It's not. <laughs> The next item in this haul is this white bikini and I must admit, off rip, that I did mess up. I accidentally got a large and I was meant to get a medium, so I'm not sure if this bikini will fit me, but we'll get to there when we get to there, we'll cross that bridge and get to it, it's okay. Also, a quick side note, I really love Zaffold's packaging. One thing about me, I'm huge on presentability and things being aesthetic because if something looks nice i'm gonna want to buy it and these bags are really reusable sometimes when i have no space in my suitcase i kind of just pack them on top of each other like that and it really saves a bit of space i like that i like that a lot the bags also have the zaffo branding down the side like this i'm noticing a lot of companies start to do the same sort of packaging and i just want to say that zaffo started it Zaffo did it first okay actually i don't know if they did it first let me not lie but they're doing it the best right now because also this packet is like not plastic you know when plastic got pick and pay like it's not like that this plastic is i don't know what type of plastic this is this plastic went to private school you know i don't know but i really appreciate zaffle's packaging so here's what this bikini looks like it is ripped material and i really hope that when i take photos in this bikini at the beach my nails are still white because i really love this aesthetic right here anyways i really really love white bikinis in general don't know why i just like them that's why i chose this one and it was also really 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 cheap so um, i was like guess what i want to take you but yeah this is what it looks like and one thing i really must commend about zaffo swimwear is that it's always good material it's not see-through it's not smaller than what it looks like it's always most of the time true to size there's only one occasion where they gave me a really small bikini top and i was like baby what's going on because i ordered a medium so that's why like this small part of me is like this bikini will fit you even though it's a large it will fit you and if it does fit me then this will be really awkward but it's okay <laughs> bikini top does have padding inside of it i don't think you guys can see it 
so if you do have smaller boobs you can leave it in or if you don't you can take it out i'm probably probably gonna leave it in but we'll see how it goes it'll depend on how it fits me i really like the fact that they put the padding inside because imagine if your boobs are small and you like you must calculate it and now it's really awkward we don't like awkward moments so i really appreciate the padding that's inside here's a little slot to take it out if you don't feel like you need it and the bikini bottom is a bit high-waisted not even a bit it is definitely definitely high-waisted what confuses me is that sometimes the top looks bigger than the bottom even though like the whole thing is a large i don't know if you see what i mean this bikini bottom doesn't look like a large it looks like does it look a large does it look a large? okay comment down below if you think it looks like a large but i don't think it looks like a large yet the top is telling me large it's screaming large but we'll see how the fitting goes when I actually put it on. For now, I am really, really happy with this bikini. Once again, it looks exactly like the photo. Can't wait to rock it. Stay tuned on my Instagram. Stay tuned. <laughs> item in this haul is this black orange and white sweater i'm a person who wasn't really into sweaters before but now that kept on winter has showed me flames i'm like i'm gonna need more sweaters and when i saw this i'm like i need to have you all the sizes were literally gone medium large extra large extra, extra large is all gone small was the only one left so i did get a small i don't know if it'll be oversized the way i wanted it to be i do have quite um sleek arms so i think it will fit me properly but obviously for sweaters i always urge you to go a size above if you want it a bit baggy but anyways let me get into the sweater child i'm really into how the sweater looks like the orange the green 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 drake <laughs> drake drake yes um child anyway so the orange, white, and black is doing what it needs to do for the babies, okay? It does look a bit cropped at the bottom, which I didn't realize that it was cropped. I didn't really want it cropped, and now I'm just forced into wearing a cropped sweater, but that's okay. One thing that's a bit concerning is that it's not as thick as I expected it to be. This is like t-shirt material. It's not like sweater, I'm cold. I'm gonna wear you just like with a pair of jeans or like biker shorts. It's giving me like, this could be a t-shirt. Which is not okay because Cape Town Winter is showing me flames. I am being showed my ancestors via this cold. So I needed something a bit thicker. So obviously if you were looking for something a bit thick or you are looking for something a bit thick, you can still get the sweater and just couple it with like a denim jacket. No, would this go with the denim jacket? Okay, this would not go with the denim jacket. Honestly, just look cute, okay? Who cares about the cold? Just a little bit of cold. Just joking, guys. Please dress up. Get behind her. Anyways, this sweater is very, very cute and I like the, what am I trying to say? I like the cuffed sleeves, my mind. I like the cuffed sleeves because they, they have that thing, that thing, you know what I mean? And I like the fact that you can group the sweater with anything. You can say jeans, you can say biker shorts, you can say denim shorts, you can say anything with the sweater. Because the color is so you can explore with the colors, you know what I mean? And I did get something else that was orange in this clothing haul. I wouldn't wear them together because that's just too much orange for me. I am not that girl. I really, really like the versatility of the sweater because you can just wear it chilling indoors or you could wear it outside with your friends, drinks, maybe when you're going to the beach and you don't want to wear just a bikini top. That's what I'm going to do, actually. That's exactly what I'm going to do. The next item in this haul are these orange pants and I don't know why they package this differently to everything else. I don't know what this is about, but we move. What was the reason? I had a reason. What was the reason? What was the reason? I just explained the reason. What was the reason, bitch? I really like these pants because I have nothing like this in my wardrobe and I decided that, listen, you need to do more, okay? You can't just be wearing sweatpants and jeans the whole time. You need something that's gonna, you know? make you stand out and i think these pants are perfect to make anyone stand out do you guys see this color do you guys see all this these pants are definitely giving me track pant material they're actually really really thick and really really stretchy 
this might be a big fool they got me but that's okay because we have tailors for a reason and as you guys can probably tell i'm definitely feeling the black and orange vibe love it don't know why i'm going through a stage i guess when i bought these pants i imagined myself wearing a white top and some white sneakers with these and just looking real cute or whatever i would never wear another colorful item with these pants just because they're really doing a lot in themselves so i'd probably group these with a white cami a white crop t-shirt maybe a plain white sweater just something very neutral because yeah we need to balance things out balance because this is way too bright i like it but it's way too bright do you guys think it goes in the dark anyways these pants also come with a black belt i'm assuming you can wear the pants without the belt or you can group the pants with the belt i'm probably gonna wear them with the belt because they look cuter with more of the black aesthetic the belt does have this sort of clasp so it's giving me worker it's giving me ingesa venza it's giving me boss girl <laughs> guys i'm a clown i don't know how you guys deal with me The next item in this haul are these white squats. One thing about me, I love squats because I don't really like skirts. So the fact that I like shorts and they can make it look like a skirt, down my alley, for sure. If you did watch my last vlog, you might have realized that I was wearing these exact squats. I just couldn't wait because I'm like, these are so cute. I need to wear them today, not next week. And I did, and they were so cute. But I do want to mention that I ordered them in a size medium and they ended up being a bit too small for me, like a tiny bit too small for me. Large have been way too big, but then medium was also a bit too small. So I don't know what to do. Anyway, child, I really, really love the material. It's really, really thick not see through at all these squats make me feel like i should be on a luscious green golf course sitting looking cute on my golf cart like are they not giving you those vibes you guys are they not anyways these are really really cute i like the fact that you can dress them up or down you can literally wear them with a white cami like i did and dress them down or you can get a coat to match with some heels and you're dressing them up i really like clothes with versatility I like clothes with character, clothes that you can make fancy or you can make look really casual. I love that. And I don't regret picking these squats at all because I love squats. The only other squats I have actually are also from Zaffle and I love those as well. Look, look, okay, Zaffle's doing what they need to do for the babies, okay? I'm really, really in love with these squats. They are super, super cute and they're just giving me a bad girl. They're giving me pink ting. They're giving me they're giving me what's your number like we are done what's up that's what they're giving me <laughs> fuck anyways the next item in this haul is this olive green crop top with short sleeves and love it there's also options to get it in black i think but i chose this color just because i have nothing in my wardrobe that's this color and these could go perfectly with the squats imagine yourself with your long wig stiff wig food stiff wig wear no wow yes bitch no stiff bitch no none of that shake bitch what? and the squats and this crop top so cute so cute anyways this is how the crop top looks like I really love this patterning that's going on here. I don't know if you guys can see it. It's not completely straight. I don't know what the professional term for this kind of design is, but I'm feeling it. I'm really feeling it. I also really, really like how the sleeves don't completely like go into the crop top like this. It's like this hanging on by thread design. Really like that too. I think overall this crop top is just really cute from the color to the design to everything. I really, really like it. And it could match with anything, denim jeans, Biker shorts. I'm actually not a fan of biker shorts. I don't know why I keep mentioning them. But you could wear these with biker shorts. If you aren't biker shorts, you can wear these with denim shorts. You can wear these with anything. It's giving me spring. It's giving me the flowers are blooming and everything's pretty in the world. Even though everything's definitely not pretty at all by no means. I did order this in a size medium. So this does look a bit small. It doesn't look medium to me. But maybe I'm tripping. Let me know if I'm tripping you guys. Because I really feel like some of these clothes are not true to size. But I can't really judge it because I haven't worn it. I will see in the trying aspect of the video. But this is cute. This is cute. Mm, the flavor. <laughs> Mock try it on quickly. 
it's not even really covering my boobs and assuming it will when i wear it it won't be like it'll be like just covering my boobs and i don't like that so i don't like the fact that it looks really small this does not look a medium this looks like a small but it's okay we'll see when you try it on i don't really regret buying this crop top at all The last item in this haul is this white cami. It does have only one strap and it is spaghetti strap. You guys already know the vibes. If I'm not wearing a bandai, I'm wearing a spaghetti strapped crop top because one thing about me, I love spaghetti straps. I really like the whole one strap thing going on. One thing I will say is that the material does look a bit thin. I expected it to be thicker. But other than that, I think this is exactly what I expected to get. Also, I did wear this crop top in my last vlog as well with the skirts. One thing that really bothered me was that this crop top is like white, like stock white. And then the skirts are like cream white. And that really bothered me because I thought both of them were stock white. But that's okay. That's neither here nor there. We're talking about the crop top. Okay, we're talking about the crop top. Because I did wear it, I can safely say that I was pretty comfortable in the crop top. Most crop tops tend to like go down my boob and then things start to show when they don't need to be showing. But this crop top held it down for the girl, okay? So 100% recommend. We all need something simple yet cute in our wardrobe. You can group this with literally anything anything you want you can wear it with this there's literally no such thing as too many white camisoles in your wardrobe i really really love white camis and especially this one because it's one strap and it's all cute and it's not basic love it as you speak i probably have four or five white camis in my wardrobe and no regrets no regrets <laughs> Anyway, child, that is it for my Zappa haul. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please do drop a comment telling me your favorite item of clothing, maybe your least favorite item of clothing. I love reading you guys' thoughts and opinions. All the links to the items in this video will be in my description box below, so you can check that out if you're interested. If you haven't liked the video, please go ahead and do that, baby. I really appreciate it. If you haven't subscribed, I don't know. I really don't know what you're doing with your time. Please consider subscribing to the A Team, the Vest Team on YouTube, and massive, massive shout out to Zeph for sponsoring this video. I truly, truly appreciate it. I'll check you guys in my next video. Bye.